what is going on everybody my name is dr oolong i'm the mad doctor of spark and today i got another match commentary for y'all uh me versus alia uh this was an interesting matchup because uh i've switched my loadout at this point to operating off of health nova Allium was also running Health Nova, and I wanted to kind of take this opportunity to uh, just kind of talk about just Nova strats in general. Um, Health Nova changes things significantly, but if you were to ask me which is closer to like base Nova, uh, Health Nova or Bounce Nova, I I'd actually say Health Nova um, because it kind of keeps the core of the Nova weapon archetype um, without too much additional fluff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get okay. right into this. You'll see what I mean once I actually get to these matches. Three, two, one. Last right, so, my build that I'm running right now is I'm running Base Lance, Base Majestic Mage, Health Nova, and then Raptor, Speed Wildcat. I am going with the Speed Wildcat at this point. Uh, and uh, uh, Raptor. Uh, no special attachments on the Raptor. I really don't need that rematch. All right. Um, the goal is just to really, I mean, just put down the hazards. I, I kind of was joking in Ozo the other day. I said this build was boops all hazards. Uh, and that, that does end up being the case. With the Nova's being a really hard to get rid of hazard. The beams, the majestic aid, and then you just follow it up with the tundra and the wild cat and the rafter. And, you know, it's all low enough cooldown that you can pretty much uh, cycle it indefinitely. Um, Allium's running actually a very, very similar build. Um, running the additional ammunition lance, uh, running the bounce viper, running Hell of Nova. Uh, and then I don't believe there were any attachments on the Raptor. Let me see. Oh, no, there, uh, there definitely are. I think that's extra, uh, extra ammunition Raptor. Um, I'll know it when I see it. Oh, yes, the slow hammer name. I might be missing one additional one there. Um, one thing you might notice, uh, neither one of us running shields. This is kind of just full on out of the uh, I am getting really low there for that slow hammer nade. I keep telling people, like, hey, you should probably consider running something else instead of slow hammer nade on, on builds with that. It doesn't synergize, but, God, it just does so much work. It, it's just on almost every single build. Hard to get rid of. And Allium actually keeping me moving here with the um, extra ammunition lance. Um, I found that that weapon's pretty good counting. in the build where you don't want to get yeah, your opponent moving count, back finally. and forth and back and forth on their play area. Um, gosh, what's... Oh, God, what's wrong with... Oh, yeah, that's right. I took a sip of coffee. Two, one. Coffee. Yeah, no, coffee. I was going to coffee right now, too. Okay. Performance and cash. Yeah, yeah, so this is, uh, again, the, the sort of main setup for the combo. Double okay, beams going in with the Majestic Nade. No, kind of clear out my line of fire <laughs> oh, the with health vipers, novas yeah, the and then go through. Uh, honestly, the, bi the biggest thing you're going to see with my health novas is that I'm going to try and position them in ways where they don't collide with uh, If I can do that and I can do that on my side, I can block the lances much more easily and uh, just let the novas pass right over rather than having to spend additional health and collision Good. trying to get rid of them. Setting up the same combo again. Going in with the Tundra. And there we go. Just <laughs> devastating how that quickly tundra that Tundra can brutal, get rid it? of a health bar. It's oh, truly like horrifying. Yeah. 75 damage. Yeah, that was 75 damage all at once. There. Actually, like, past Oolong might be incorrect, and it might actually be 50 damage. That would be an but, um, Either way, a devastating combo, which I highly suggest. I mean, at 7 seconds, too. That's 1 second longer than a whole ass... Uh, Hammer lips. So, again, look at how much the beams are getting me to move. Uh, that last beam r right there wasn't greatly positioned, but if it was, uh, I would have had to move again to the right hand side. I might have ran. And you're seeing the trades with the Novas aren't really going in my favor. It, it, it doesn't make sense because uh, of, of how much it's. You know, we're running the same exact Nova. It really shouldn't make a difference here. And yet it does, just because of where those Novas are colliding. Alliums are flying from mine inside the player area, which means that her Nova's already got time to recharge. Well, mine's fresh and new. I'm just getting, I'm just trying to get that weapon throw damage in at this point. Yeah. I take a lot of damage from the beam. I take the resulting damage from moving through that hammer ellipse. Or the hammer ellipse. Hammer nade shot. And yep, Allium takes that round. Yeah, there's a little bit more damage than I thought. Yeah, those those lances are no joke. They only last for a second, but they still do full damage. 
Another thing I've seen people doing with Bounce uh, Viper recently, sort of angling it up like that. That way, because uh, usually it'll bounce down and just fire straight. So usually a uh, strategy is kind of just keeping standing uh, and trying not to get too intimidated by it. You can see here I'm, tr I'm trying to place the Novas around Earth and, and, and trying to make it so that they're going to converge on the center of her play area. I kind of can't. The thing, the thing about health Nova is that it's still a really good hat. If anything, the fact that it's harder to get rid of makes it even, uh, even a better hat. You're seeing I'm just trying to do a little bit of trolling here. A little bit of trolling, getting her used to the sounds of that tundra going off. Was that, was that three games yet or was that two? That was two. That was two, right? That was two. All right, one more. Right. Three. Yeah, I've tried taking the tundra off, I've tried going Numa, and uh, it just doesn't put the fear of God in people. Yeah, like the tundra does. Yeah, T tundra, tundra puts the fear of God in people. Tundra oh, puts no. the fear of God in people. That was out of bounds. As you can clearly see. That was out of bounds. Yeah, it was I'm out of sorry. bounds. <laughs> oh, not your fault, my fault. <laughs> Also, also yeah. just during this match, you know, it's so funny because me and Alium are just going back and forth apologizing to each other. Me, I'm apologizing for, for beating her, and, and she's apologizing for not beating me. So it's just like if you were to listen to the uh, uh, non-commentary audio, it's just us going back and forth. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. hey. GG's. GG's and those hazards in that last oh, round with it. the Tundra, that <laughs> basically is the whole win condition. Well, hey, you know what, though? Uh, all right, yeah, so, so, so wrap-ups, I mean, really at the end of the day, uh, uh, this is the, this is the first yeah, time we've seen a Health Nova v. Health Nova matchup. Um, it's not streaming live. And I, 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 I think the, no, the one thing sorry. to learn is that, you know, it's important <laughs> where the Novas collide, but really that match was not decided at all by the Nova on either side. That no, was fully okay. decided I'll, I'll, I'll by still knock Hazards four times today. and then Tundra. I think <laughs> I may have hit one Nova throughout that entire I said match. I'd be still knocking four um, times today. <laughs> so yeah, so you have, hopefully you, you learned something. Hopefully you got ideas for your own builds. I've been Doctor Long. Just remember, Doctor Day keeps the assholes away. Fight nights later on today, so I hope to see you all there.